So basically, uh, the New York Times reached out and asked us if we could help them with this uh, article they wanted to do about this, this big fire in the Bronx. So it came directly from them asking us if we could help them with the simulations and uh, some of the technical aspects and also some understanding of the, of the fire and how it happened. It's very different from being asked about your opinion about um, um, a recent event, you know, but here really getting into the, the weeds of what happened and trying to get the details and, uh, and provide the right uh, uh, scenarios and answers to their questions. Knowing the context and that so many people lost their lives was always in the back of our mind. So our contribution to that is to making to make people from the general population, the general public, to deciders aware and help the New York Times make people aware of this problem, why it happened, how it happened, hoping that we'll find the solutions for it to not happen again. I think it's really pointing towards the direction that we really have to do something for the buildings which are aging, that are someone retrofitted, but not for fire directly, or changing sometimes use, changing the way they operate, and the fire risk is increasing and we don't really assess that and we don't really have an approach to really take that into account. I'd say, I think it's a very important point that as an industry we'll have to address in the future. Some things are done, but we can ask ourselves the question how something like that can happen in the 21st century, you know. What we want at the end of the day is to be useful to society, you know, by providing the engineers, but also by providing the knowledge and the information that society needs to, in our case, deal with uh, fire safety. So I think we're playing our role here, you know. It's a, a project that we did with the New York Times outside of our usual workload, I would say, but that's where we feel also very useful and that we're playing the role we should play as an academic institution.